Hey guys, Matt here once again with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a good day. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a quick update on my Ethereum rigs that I got going. You can see them on over here. The two rigs are running just fine, everything's set up. I'll show you on my laptop here in a second um, on HiveOS and how things are going there and some data that, I'm, that I produce. And I'll even show you my settings, my overclock settings for you guys to be able to use if uh, that helps you as well. And uh, talking about the cables. So if that sounds good to you, Let's hop in and let's make it happen. All right, so real quick here, I'm gonna show you my Ethereum rigs because I wanna show you these beauties. I mean, look at them. So here's the top one here. Everything's running fine. Let's see if you can see it better. So I've got uh, all uh, 6700s up top here and I have a 6600 back here that I decided to get. And then down here, if you can see, let me pull back here. Yep, there we go. All right, so then back here, I've got more 6700s, actually. Back there, I've got Tough Gaming, and then I have, uh, this one here is the, which one is that? Oh, I think, no, my, I think that's my Duel right there. M M that's one MSI. And then over here, I have uh, another uh, 6600 uh, Red Devil as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, everything's lit up. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm loving uh, doing this whole rig system. I want to build another one because now that I know what I'm doing, uh, it makes it a whole lot easier and it's faster set up. Um, and then here, um, here are my cables. So I did find a solution um, to get more cables here to uh, figure out what's going on. And so what I ended up doing on the cable side is I ended up after I record my first video of setting everything up um, and how I couldn't find any cables to get the appropriate uh, power to each GPU, I could only do five GPUs if you remember my last video of setting everything up. Well, um, shortly after that, a couple days later, uh, EVGA then had more cables in stock. So I bought a bunch up and they came in uh, several weeks ago um, and I was able to get all six set up on one rig at a time, which is great. So I've got more sitting aside for when I do build more rigs, so we're good there. So that was the solution there. I couldn't find anything that was working for me on Amazon. And then I also found a solution for a PSU that included all the cables, everything you needed for six GPUs. Um, it was a 1600 watt PSU, it would be Oh, that would be a fantastic solution. I didn't go with it because I'm like, you know what? I already have my EVGA ones here. I'll take care of that. Let that be. Um, and and the, the Mining Cave PSU, you guys should check it out. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's not a sponsored post. I just found it and I thought, oh, I saw some others using it on YouTube. And I thought that would be a fantastic option to use next time to where I don't have to worry about, okay, do I have the, the right kind of cables? And it just, everything's set up, ready to go. It makes it a whole lot easier for those of us who like to mine. And the price point was right around the same amount. Like last time I checked, it was like 225 bucks for it. So um, that is the update on the cables, all right? And you saw the, uh, the rigs here. So everything's going smooth. All my uptime is fantastic. I, I, I've tweaked everything to a point now to where I don't have any hard crashes or anything like that. You know, GPU's shutting down because my overclock settings are, are crazy. Let's jump, in, jump into HiveOS and I'll show you real quick what I've got going on. All right, so you can see here, I've got my one farm. I'm just over one kilowatt of usage, okay? And then I'm, I'm hashing out about 530 mega hash, okay? So it's pretty good, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, I mean, in reality, I'm happy with anything. It's working, that's what I'm happy about, okay? And uh, just, uh, just so you guys know, I've got my funds there, I've got $55.20. Uh, they will lock your account after a couple days if you have not put funds in. So if you're, if it's free if you're mining to their their pool, their Hive OS pool. But if you're mining elsewhere, like I am, they will lock your account if you don't get those funds paid for. Because they will charge us like at least where I was at it was like as you can see, daily price was ten cents uh, per day for my rigs. So if you start if you start to the point where you're not paying at all, they will lock your account until you pay that. So make sure you uh, send that crypto over to get it paid. And so you can see I've got two online, 12 GPUs. Let's click on and open it up some more. So once you open it up here, you can see that all my GPUs are running just fine. Um, and I'll, I'll dig in here deeper. Let's, let's go into, uh... all right. So then you can see my whole rig here with my six GPUs. Uh, I've got, uh, as you can see, five of the 6700s and then one 6600. 
Um, you can see that I'm averaging about 46 point, almost 0.5. So I'm a little under 0.5. This one is 46.51. And then I've got a 6600 at 33.17 mega hash. And then of course I've got my, my temperature set through my auto fan settings. So if you guys watch my other uh, tutorial of how to set up a 6700 uh, mining rig, you would see me talk about the auto fan settings, but I have them set to where I'm happy, where everything's efficient, I'm not having any issues myself. And then you can see my wattage that I'm pulling here, and of course my, uh, my overclock settings. So if you wanna pause the video right now, you can see my overclock settings here. See if they work for you. Uh, they may, they may not. Every card is different. Even if it's the ex same exact 6700 XT, by power color, Red Devil, it may just be a little bit different. That's It's very odd to me that you have to be so specific and detailed on each card, even if they're a little bit different. And it's just like, hey, it just happens. So anyways, uh, feel free to steal my overclock settings. I don't care if it makes you more uh, effective in what you're doing. Have at it. Have fun with it. All right. And then if you go to my other uh, rig here, you can see I, I have six seven hundred as well and one sixty six hundred. And you know I'm I'm getting forty six point five. Uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty uh, happy with what I'm getting here. I do have two invalid shares or stalled shares. That just means that hey, your overclock settings are a little extreme. You need to tailor those back. So. That is something to watch for, something that you can uh, you can modify. One thing I want to point out here, so this uh, 6700 uh, Red Devil Power Color, that is the same. I have, yeah, I've got four of those that are the same, okay? And this one, for whatever reason, does not like my other settings that I have. I had to back off quite a bit on that setting. And so instead of getting like 95 to 98 uh, watts on it, I'm getting 110. 110 is the lowest I could push it currently uh, with the settings before it started crashing my rig constantly. So that is an example to you of sometimes some GPUs just may, you know, whatever, however they were built and whatever was going on, they just, they, they can't take those overclock settings like you can on other uh, GPUs. So just want to let you guys know about that. Not everything is perfect and the same and you just put all the same settings and it's going to work perfectly. Okay. And what else can I share with you? Um, other thing here is, yes, my, my rig could be updated. And it tells me of the different updates that I could have here, um, what's going on. But for me, it's like, hey, I, I'm not having any major issues with my rig, so I'm not gonna update it until there's a major update and I need to update it. So, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know? All right, so anyways, guys, that's a quick update for you. Um, on my rigs. I'm super excited where they're at right now. Um, it's great to just come down and just, you know, check on them once in a while, make sure everything's running just fine. But now, you know, the, the major hurdle's done. I'm past the initial setup and the initial overclock setting phase, and it's running fine. It's running great. And um, so, anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to share the knowledge I have of building these systems. Um, and as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, guys, I will see you when I see you.